Alright, we're making progress. What up everybody, my name's Thomas, welcome to more Subspace Emissary. In the last episode, we did Subspace, and in today's episode, we're gonna do Subspace. Yep. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, let's go. By the way, once we have um, unlocked the rest of the characters, once we have done that, we should then be able to get all the other levels back. If I remember correctly, um... Once we have completed part two, we should have all the levels. I believe so, anyway. Alright, but look at that. Kirby's back. Alright, but the thing is, as well, where's all the other characters? Like, where are they all at? Are they just in part one? <laughs> I don't know. Let's say, yeah, we actually do have Kirby. Oh, look at that! Look at that, guys! <laughs> look at that as well. <laughs> That's pretty brilliant. Oh god. I might even make that the thumbnail to be honest. Like, screw the cutscene. <laughs> ah, boy. Alright, anyway. But yeah, welcome to more Subspace Emissary. Um, I hope you're still enjoying this series. Honestly, I I could not be having more fun with this series if I tried. It's generally, I personally think this has been my best Let's Play. I do. And I'm not just saying that. I'm really not. But I generally do mean it. I really am. I'm being sincere when I say it. This, in my opinion, has been one of not, well, one of, if not the best Let's Play I've ever done. That's my opinion, anyway. Um, honestly, like, I just feel like it's been going so well. I really do. Yeah, like, yeah, sure, we have some screw-ups here and there. You know, yeah, sure, we've had had some derps. But what series of mine hasn't had that, you know? Um, by the way, here's Princess Zelda. So, uh, that's pretty neat. But, uh, both princesses back. Sweet. But, uh, yeah, anyway. But um, generally, I do really feel like this has been my best Let's Play yet. I've just, honestly, I've been putting so many hours into this project. So much research, believe it or not. <laughs> and just so much, like, energy and enthusiasm into it. And I really feel like it's paying off. I really do. Um, and hopefully you guys think that as well. Um, by the way, I don't know how to avoid this without actually getting hurt. I I couldn't tell you, because I have no idea. But uh, Oh, look, it's Meta Knight. Meta Knight. I can't get him. Oh, there's a wall. Damn you. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, in general, I do feel like this has been one of my best projects yet. Anyway. So, um, by the way, there are still these golden... Well, are they gold or orange? I think they're gold. But uh, yeah, there's still some of these trophies around that you do have to collect. So, if that's you're still 100%ing, that's what you're going to need to do. So, yeah. Like, that's just my opinion, right? I feel like when it came to uh, Sinnoh, that's when Pokemon started to get a little bit... Not only redundant, but just kind of born in general, you know, like, don't get me wrong, Dawn's a nice gal. She is. She was a nice character. You know, and I have seen all Diamond and Pearl, Platinum, etc. You know, don't get me wrong, Dawn is a nice gal and everything. She really is. She was, you know, she was a nice character. But, like I said, I just feel like it was a little bit crap, you know, Sinnoh. Like I said, I have seen every single episode of Sinnoh. I have. Because uh, back then, that's what I really liked. You know, I really liked Pokemon, and to be honest, it was one of, if not, the only good shows on TV. It really was, um, because at the time, there wasn't really much on TV that I really, you know, enjoyed. Like, it was all on Cartoon Network, and, well, we all know that that's kind of gone nowadays. Uh, you know, like, Coding Kids Next Door. But the thing is, as well, the shows that I really liked didn't come on until really late. So, really, the only thing that was on TV at the time were Pokemon. Um, and, you know, like I said, I preferred, like, the originals. You know, uh, the one we missed it. Yeah, sure, she could be annoying. But she didn't keep, like, calling him annoying and stuff like that. Right, Mei, very nice character. She's one of my favourites in anime. She is. Um, but when it came to, I don't know, for example, Black and White, I hated Black and White. I watched, like, I watched a couple of episodes, but I just freaking hated it. Right, everything had changed. Like, the art style, uh, the way that they kind of did things, it was awful in my opinion. Like, when it came to, like, oh my god, the un introduction to Iris. Bloody hell, I hated her. I really did. Right, because for one, she will constantly call an ass stupid, right, which was so freaking annoying, right. She, like, honestly, she were annoying, right. She didn't, if I remember correctly, she didn't have a reason to hold a grudge against Ash. Like, I think she just tagged on, if I remember correctly, I don't remember exactly. Um, and then when it came to, um, I forgot what he's called, the, uh, Greenhead Butler guy. I forgot what he's called, Seal or something like that. Um, I haven't, like, seen in ages. Bloody hell, like. Okay, he was a nice character and all, but he was just annoying. He really was. Like, after a while, he got really annoying. And I think they got, like, new voice actors as well. Like, halfway through. Which, 
Ugh, it was so bad, it really was. Like, generally, black and white, I freaking hate it. Now, when it comes to uh, the new seasons, X, Y, stuff like that, I have not actually seen it. Um, I haven't actually seen the anime. Um, I haven't seen Serena, or whatever her name is. I haven't seen what Ash is like now. I haven't seen a single episode. I haven't, because honestly, after a while, I kind of got thrown off. Um, and it really just made me not want to like watch it. After like black and white, I really didn't want to watch it. But um, tell me in the comments, is is it actually worth watching? Seriously, I hate Yamaga. He's one of my least favorite enemies in this game. But anyway, yeah, tell me in the comments though, what do you think of uh, the new Pokemon seasons? Do you think they're good? Do you think they still hold up to its name? Or do you think that they're just autocrat, you know? Alright. Well, let's just take out this freaking Gamaga. Like, it wouldn't even be that bad if there weren't Tickens around. Like, for real. Tickens. Why would I even invent it? I don't understand. And why did you call it Ticken? Why not just Chicken? Like, for real. You won't get copyright for Chicken, Nintendo. I'm just saying that right off the bat, you know? I mean, you call cuckoos in Legend of Zelda. Alright. I think that's all the characters. I think so anyway. Alright. Also, I don't think we have to do a battle, but yeah. Alright. <laughs> I like how Bowser's just like, I hate you, Ganondorf. <laughs> He's just like trying to snap him in half, isn't it? <laughs> that's got like a hatred for Ganondorf, man. And then Dina is just like, I never thought I'd see you again. <laughs> God, I honestly love this game. I really do. Like, everything about it. Bloody on point. Really is. Alright. See, why would you free the King of Evil? I know that you're supposed to be working together, but... King of Evil. Doi. I'm just saying. It's a really dumb idea. Alright. Well, look at that. They're on the way to a taboo. Which, if you haven't guessed by now, taboo is the final boss. If you haven't guessed already. <laughs> Freaking Wario. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's pretty much... Yeah, that should be all the characters saved now, which that's really good. So yeah. By the way, I will be ending this episode off, right? And I'll explain why in a moment. I know this episode will be like, what, eight minutes with all the cuts? But trust me, guys, you'll understand why in a moment. Alright, so yeah. That should be all of them now. Yeah, it is. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let me explain why I'm ending this episode off now. Okay. So, we have all of the, the levels 100%ed except for the places that we can't get. The next level is called The Great Maze. Alright. Now, the thing you've got to know about The Great Maze, guys. This place takes for freaking ever. It is impossible to do this place within 20 to 30 minutes. It takes roughly two to three hours to record this. Maybe even longer. It takes a long freaking time. And if anybody does know subspace, if anybody has played this game, you'll know exactly how long this place is. It's not something I can record all in one go. It's not something that I can do like a commentary episode on. It's not something I can do a regular episode on. So. This is what I'm going to do. Next episode, we're going to be doing The Great Maze, but instead of doing it like most YouTubers do it, where they'll do a couple of episodes on it, like, and it'll be like, what, six episodes maybe? I'm going to do it. It'll probably be two parts, right? That's what I'm aiming for. Three parts at most. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to speed up the comment, speed up the footage, play music in the background, and I'll be post-commentating over it, probably. But uh, this place... I cannot do in one go because it takes so long. Um, it really is ridiculous. So, yeah. Anyway, but thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next episode, we're going to be doing the biggest part of Subspace Emissary. So, yeah. We're coming close to the end of the game, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye for now.